Welcome back to Educare.com. We're going to look at a few more examples of trying to estimate the population proportion when we have a large sample. Our first example that we're going to look at, in a poll of 2,000 adults, 1,280 have money in regular savings account. Find the 95% confidence interval for the proportion of all adults who have money in regular savings accounts. First thing we're told is n equals 2,000. Now how am I going to find my sample proportion, p hat? Well, I'm taking the number of people in my sample who have regular savings accounts, and I'm dividing that by the total number of people in my sample. So this gives me 0.64. I'm dealing with 95% confidence, so alpha equals 0.05. That means alpha over 2 equals 0.025. Now I have everything I need to calculate the confidence interval. So we have p hat is plus or minus z of 0.025 times the square root of p hat, 1 minus p hat, over n. So we have p hat is 0.64, plus or minus is 95% confidence interval. That means z is going to be 1.96. And then we take the square root of 0.64 times 1 minus 0.64, which is 0.36 divided by 2,000. Again, it's very important to make sure that that 2,000 is included in the square root. Well, what we get is 0 0.64 plus or minus 0 0.0210. I subtract that from 0 0.64 and add it to 0 0.64, and I have 0 0.6190 and 0 0.6610. So to interpret my confidence interval, I would say with 95% confidence, the proportion of all adults who have money in regular savings accounts is between 0.619 and 0.661.